In this video, we will be factoring trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. Notice that the leading coefficient, a, is understood to be 1 in the following examples. The steps to do this are 1. Find factors of the constant c whose sum is b. That is, determine two numbers m and n whose product is c and whose sum is b. We want them to multiply to c and add to b. Once we find those two numbers, we will write the trinomial in the form x plus our first number times x plus the second number. And then finally, we can check our answer. Notice right away that a is 1. We don't see a coefficient on the x squared term. That means it's understood to be a 1. Start by finding two numbers whose product is 12 and whose sum is 8. If you don't see that right away, list the factors that multiply to 12. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. Now we want to ask ourselves, do any of those pairs add to 8? 2 and 6 multiply to 12, and they also add to the middle number 8. So we can set up our parentheses, x plus 2 times x plus 6. And we have the factored form of the trinomial. Now we could also put this as x plus 6 or x plus 2. Since multiplication is commutative, the order does not matter there. To check our answer, we simply distribute the parentheses. So x times x would give us x squared, x times 2, 2x, two 6 times x, 6x, and 6 times 2, 12. Combine like terms, x squared plus 8x plus 12. Notice that this is what we started with, meaning we found the correct factored form. In this example, we're looking for two numbers whose product is positive 21 and whose sum is negative 10. If they're multiplying to a positive number, that means both numbers must be positive or both numbers must be negative. And we can determine that by the sum. Notice the sum has to be negative. Therefore, both numbers need to be negative. So we have negative 1 times negative 21 or negative 3 times negative 7. Look for the pair that add to negative 10. We have negative 3 and negative 7. So x minus 3 times x minus 7. In this example, we want two numbers that multiply to negative 15 and add to positive 2. So since they're multiplying to a negative number, that means the two signs of the numbers are different. And they have to add to a positive, therefore the bigger number has to be a positive. So we have 1 and 15. Again, the bigger number would have to be positive, the smaller negative. We have 3 and 5. Bigger is positive, smaller is negative and pick the two whose sum is positive 2. So we have x minus 3 and x plus 5. In this example, we want the product to be a negative 28 and the sum to be negative 3. Again, if the product is negative, then the two numbers have to have different signs. And since the sum is negative, then the bigger number is going to have the negative value. So we have 1 times 28. Again, the bigger number is negative, or 2 and negative 14, or 4 and negative 7. These are all the pairs of numbers that multiply to negative 28. Which one of those is going to have a sum of negative 3? 4 and negative 7. So we have x plus 4 and x minus 7. A polynomial that cannot be factored is said to be a prime polynomial. In this example, let's show that the trinomial is prime. List all the factors of 12. 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 
3 and 4. All of these pairs of numbers multiply to positive 12. Now do any of those pairs add up to positive 10? It looks like they do not. So we can say that this trinomial is a prime trinomial, meaning it cannot be factored. In this example, we have an extra step. We have a greatest common factor. Notice in each term, there is a factor in common. That factor, or GCF, is 3x. When we factor 3x out of the trinomial, we're left with x squared minus 3x minus 40. Now notice we have the GCF out front and a trinomial with a lead coefficient of 1 as a result. We can now refactor this using the steps from earlier. Find the pairs of numbers that multiply to negative 40 and add to negative 3. So we have 1 and negative 40, 2 and negative 20, 4 and negative 10, 5 and negative 8. Which one of those pairs of numbers has a sum of negative 3, 5 and minus 8. So we have 3x, x plus 5, and x minus 8. Thanks for watching.